Hi guys, we've got a really quick tutorial for you. Not only is it super easy, but it also might save you in a pinch at your next tailgating party. Let's dive right in. So for this project, you're only going to need about 5 feet of paracord. It's about half the length of a bracelet, and we're going to be using the Cobra Weave. In addition to that, I have here a square carabiner, but any carabiner or keychain clip is going to do just fine. And then this simple little bottle opener hardware piece that we're going to be putting on the, the weave itself. The only tools you'll need is scissors and a lighter. Um, start by just finding the middle of your cord, or if you've got more than enough cord, leave about five feet, or, or two and a half feet, excuse me, at one end. I'm just going to go with the middle of mine, and I'm going to make a cow hitch at the, the bottom end of my carabiner. So to do that, I'm just going to stick the loop through the carabiner and pull the ends through. Then I'm going to use this side as my top because it looks nicer. And then right after that, I'm going to be threading my bottle opener piece onto the end. And bring it up to about four inches away from the carabiner. Then we're going to wrap our cord around the back end and through our carabiner. Don't go through the, the hardware piece on this second, or the, this back. And then we're going to just put these cords right down through the middle of our cow hitch here. So divide the cords on each side, and then right down through the middle. All right. So then once you tighten that down, you have this nice wide cow hitch like that. And from there we're just going to go right into the Cobra weave. So we take one cord on each side, make sure we get them on the right side. We're going to put our right cord over the top and underneath this far left cord. And the left cord is going to go around the back and up through the loop. Then we're just going to do the mirror image of that with our left cord over the top a right cord around the back and through the loop. And that's the essence of our Cobra or Square Knot weave. I'm just going to do a couple more of those. Now we're actually going to push our harder piece up to where our weave ends. Squish these together a little bit. And we're going to continue the Cobra weave, but going through this. So. This cord that normally lays over the top, it's going to have to come up through the, the hole in the bottom of our bottle opener. So up through there, down through the other side. So we've got our little loop like normal. Again, the left, or the, sorry, the right side cord goes over the top of that, around the back and through and tighten that one down. You'll be able to fit about three or four stitches of the, the Cobra Weave inside of that the bottle opener area. Once we get to the end, we'll be sticking the end of our cord through these loops at the bottom of the core. So just do as many as you can fit on your, your keychain. Then just pull those cords as tight as they'll go. And I'm actually just going to do a overhand knot before cutting the end off. You could do a diamond knot or whatever you want to do. But Once that's as tight as you want it, go ahead and cut the end off. And 
and then melt them like normal. So there's our keychain. Um, to use it, just grab onto the, the end of the handle, hook it under your, your bottle cap. Um, handy way to have a, a bottle opener with you wherever you go. If a bottle opener isn't something that you would find yourself using, um, you can also put other things on a keychain like this. Um, I've seen people put a survival buckle on, and so then they'll just clip this to their backpack when they're hiking. Um, with this one, you'd always have a compass, a whistle, and also a knife and fire starter with you. Um, or else, you know, just even on the end, putting a, a whistle zipper pull. Uh, but there's a number of different things you could put on it. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. Uh, if you liked it, hit the like button and subscribe to see more in the future. Otherwise, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.